What is up guys, I'm Mike here, 31 here, bringing you an NCAA 14 online game, friendsless game, against a top 200 guy, a real one, not one of these frauds. I have a couple of videos exposing one of these high-ranked frauds glitching their way up the leaderboard. That's another story for another day, but we're rolling here in a friends list game. He's got K-State, I got G-Tech. A couple of times a week I just have this flex bone ish that has to be scratched. So here we go. I'm on defense first. Good play by the wide receiver there. At first I thought I was going to have a chance for at least a pick. But I couldn't get the pick, couldn't get the tackle, couldn't get nothing. So he's going to get on the board here first. And I'm going to be on offense here, running the old flex bone spread option. That's Thad Lee's weakness. If you are if you got a quarterback who's throwing the ball to the ground in this game, you know you got a guy who isn't accurate, but I come right back. The big play to the outside. Open up the game with a couple of passes just to kind of loosen them up on defense because you know this stuff is going to be coming. You know, the flex bone isn't the highest gratification offense on earth. There's easier way to move the ball. You know, you can just get in the shotgun and run zone read, QB wrap, and do whatever. You know, the flex bone's a little bit harder. What makes it harder online is that sometimes when you're, you know, running your triple options, your speed options, sometimes because of the delay, your button press or your, you know, trigger press to pitch the ball doesn't register and you end up either pitching late or not giving the ball on a give read and you miss the opportunity and your quarterback gets killed or your pitch doesn't get registered and your quarterback gets killed or you pitch late and you throw the ball to, or you and you pitch the ball to the ground but it's definitely an exercise and patience because you're gonna have drives and plays that get blown because of that and sometimes you're gonna have ugly plays because the guy stuffs you I mean, I'll throw the ball enough against guys online who like to run, commit to get them to knock that kind of stuff off. But if you keep on chipping away, the flex bone can be like death by a thousand paper cuts. You nick here, you dab there, you jab there, and then you bust a big one. You just gotta make people defend and just stay patient. And you can throw the ball as much as you really need to. I mean, I typically, on average, don't throw the ball when I'm running this any more than 10 to 12 times tops. That's usually a good indicator that you're running the offense right and efficiently. As I'm currently in a good rhythm here, and I finally pop one with bad, bad. So tie ball game, you know, leads to a low scoring type of game because it's more of a ball control style and I'm playing good defense so it's keeping me in it but he's on the march again sack sack out of the stack hope the 335 stack series is helping some of you guys I got some messages from some of you guys saying that it's helped you guys out as far as learning how to run the defense a little bit better and you know you're seeing it work in your OD games and online got more of that stuff coming soon right now I'm just trying to protect the end zone here and we hold so it's gonna be a 13 to 10 game I got plenty of time don't have to panic just keep on doing what I'm doing pop that in there and Vaz is basically like a running back. He's kind of like 2004 Vic in Madden. Or Vic when he was back in NCAA when he was in college. I mean, he's so elusive. He, and he breaks so many tackles and he's so fast. And there we get a nice pitch off in the load option. Another big game at the B-back starts to rumble. There's such a good, fun change-up offense. And there's a case where I was talking about where I was jamming the pitch button. He wouldn't pitch it. If I pitched it, that would have been a big game. He's trying to ice me here, and I'm kicking the field goal to force OT, which I make. 
but first I gotta stop him and he gets a big gain here. And here I get really, really lucky. So thankfully that gets broken up. And we're in overtime. And overtime tends to be shootouts because the field is so short. First guy who has his head off for a field goal will usually end up losing if a turnover doesn't, you know, come into play. And he scores in his first possession in OT. It takes me for a ride there, the stiff arm. So I got to answer another fullback option. Fullback rumbling around. And we score here on the slot back toss. No, don't quite get in there. We get tripped up there. And then we score on the, on the uh, you know, goal line iso play. So I answer. Now I'm trying to get seven of my own. I blow the read there. That's going to be very costly. Because I don't quite get it there. But I think I get a penalty drawn. No, I don't. But anyway, I have to settle for three on fourth and four. Now the pressure's really on my defense, and that's not a good start. Now he's knocking on the door, and on the next play, he's going to take it in for the win. So, good game. Went to OT, had my chances, but couldn't quite pull this one out. Once again, good competition leads to good games. Had that one interception. He played well on offense. Vad, a little scatter shot this game, throwing the ball. But, you know, he'll do that at times. But anyhow, I come up short in overtime. So hope you guys enjoy, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.